Hello, it's your Shinder and Hasamara Review Stuff, and welcome to today's tech tip. Today's tech tip will be showing you how to connect your PC to your Xbox 360 to stream wirelessly your movies, music, and many more. So what you want to start out by doing, you want to get your Xbox 360 controller and turn on your Xbox. So what you want to do after that, you want to scroll over to the settings tab. You want to click on system. And you want to go down to computers. And then you'll see Windows Media Center in the top left hand corner. You want to press A on that. And then you want to press set up. So you just press continue. So here's your code right here. You want to write this down on a piece of paper or somewhere where you can remember it. So the next step is you want to just press continue after that. And then it'll bring you up this page. So you want to go to www.xbox.com forward slash PC setup. I'll have that link in the description below. So let's head over to my computer. Okay, so once you get on your desktop of your computer, you want to open up your web browser. And then you want to type in that link. I put it down in the description, and as I said before, so that would be www. Oh, I got caps on, but that would be www.xbox.com forward slash PC setup. And just press enter on that. So it brings up with the setup Windows Media Center with the Xbox 360. So it asks you to choose what type of Windows 7 you have or what type of Windows operating system you have. So you have the option for Windows XP, Windows Vista or Home Premium, or Windows 7 Ultimate, Professional, Home Premium, and or Enterprise. And Windows Vista you can have Ultimate also, I forgot to say that. But So uh, I have Windows 7 Professional, so I'd click on that. And here are the steps. So step one, connect your console to your network. So if you play Xbox Live, obviously your Xbox will be connected to your network. And if it isn't, just plug up an Ethernet cord or just go into the wireless settings on your Xbox and connect it to your network. So step two, uh, remove previous connections if necessary. Uh, so what you want to do on here on your computer, you want to start with Windows Media Center. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so once we get in uh, to the media center, you want to follow the directions right here. So you want to go to tasks, and then you want to go to add extender. Just press next, and uh, enter that eight digit setup key that I told you to remember or write down before, and then you want to press next. So right here, it'll uh, configure your extender and computer. So configuring computer settings, searching for your extender. And that should take uh, a couple minutes, depending on what your computer is. So yeah, I'll come back after this. So I just wanted to share this with you real quick. If you had your Xbox on, uh, it would automatically bring up Windows Media Center. So don't freak out or do anything if it opens. So yeah. Okay, so it says tune your network before completing setup. We recommend optimizing your network. So it is recommended, but I'm not going to do it for basically this video. I'll make it as short as possible. And there you go, you're all done. So let's go back over to my Xbox. Okay, so here it is. My Xbox is set up with my computer. So I can scroll up, go to my music library. So here's all my music. And let's see if it plays. So I guess I'll play some. Let's see here. Jay Z. And press play. So there you go. It's working. And I hope you enjoyed this tech tip. And we'll see you next time.